So while using a mediator, when you have a requester and a provider, <coughs> and there may be both are say uh, trying to broadcast some message. So you 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 need a matchmaker uh, or a proxy kind of device, uh, which basically stores the capability of these advertisement that can be queried by the requesters. So requester then can choose and contact uh, a particular service provider uh, what they wish and uh, there is a broadcaster requires like when these requests requesters and providers are advertising about themselves and uh, without requiring the use of mediator this could be say present or this could be served to streamline the further interaction. So you can have a match maker or a directory which uh, is been used. So when say these requesters and providers are advertising and you have a matchmaker or a service proxy, so they will talk to matchmaker or a service proxy, use proxy for as a recommended and this matchmaker will act as a broker kind of uh, uh, thing and using that the uh, whole uh, communication uh, may happen. So using matchmaker and a broker kind of uh, uh, component, the requesters uh, and providers can, can know the preferences and can know about each of the services which can be provided in the environment. Now when you are using proxy, proxy can act on a client side because let's say client proxies on behalf of a requester basically simplifies the access to the providers. Now this proxy uh, may also hide uh, the internal working or a computation of a system so or of the requesters and uh, client proxies can uh, incorporate some of the AI component also or and, and most of the time these proxies are goal oriented and uh, interact with user in much more higher level when user is trying to interact with the system. So you can say for example a wireless access node or a web portal uh, they have these uh, proxy kind of uh, thing uh, they use. So this is how uh, say uh, the mediator is being used uh, in, 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 in the overall environment. So we, we need to blindly trust the mediator sometime. And, uh, the participants uh, can use these authorization delegation which has been provided by these mediators in conjunction with the institutional regulation when interacting with the mediator. So whatever uh, the decision has been taken by the mediator while the interaction multiplicity uh, uh, is concerned, the user will have to fully trust the mediator. So there are several design issues like when you are talking about mediator like when are mediators used during and interaction. So this is a very important design decision because like we may be dealing with many interactions like when we are surrounded with many intelligent systems in a same environment we may need to uh, use mediators at so many places. But shall we use the mediator at that place to like because as soon as we use the mediator the performance of a system is going to drop. So these mediators can be designed to support a range of different representation for uh, capabilities and preferences and these also can be designed to support different types of interactions. As the mediator that we design should be able to provide the trust to the user and at the same time it should be neutral while taking the decisions or connecting or uh, communicating between a service and a provider. So let us talk about uh, how the interaction in overall environment uh, using the cooperative participants happen. So this cooperative interaction enables multiple systems to work together. Now this cooperative, cooperative or a cooperation basically is characterized by uh, two main properties which is say coordination that synchronizing the activity 
and the cohesion uh, acting together so you have organizational interaction now cooperation when we talk synchronizing activity is very easy to manage when you are dealing with homogeneous designed systems where you have a centralized control and system is very clear system is having a very clear mandate <coughs> to serve the others and you have a services which are say clearly defined and you know when the services are going to be invoked and how it is going to be executed so at that point of time you you have a very say easy form of coordination uh, because your system is designed statically but as soon as you jump into a dynamic domain where your system has lots of dynamic input it is very difficult to coordinate between or synchronize between different component of a system now cooperation is harder to manage when you have a different systems are designed by independent developers and uh, all these different systems are designed to act autonomously because each of these systems is executed or working in 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 its own uh, way and these uh, different uh, systems have a different goal because probably all these systems have a different goal to achieve so there is no common goal of uh, overall systems and uh, you don't know how when all these outcomes of different self relying systems are uh, in say combined then you have a non deterministic uh, environment created and system may mal function so it is very difficult to deal with when you have a acting together so a cohesion kind of systems and when you combine all these individual systems which itself is a self interested manner these all these systems are working then it is very difficult to manage this system so you have several advantages of uh, cooperative interaction uh, and several disadvantages of cooperative interaction but say coordination generally uh, help to regulate uh, the diverse element of a system into an integrated environment where each user is agreeing to work towards the same goal in the main reason why these actions of uh, say multiple agents needs to be coordinated is all wants to achieve the same goal so here we uh, need uh, uh, explicit synchronization between different uh, elements of the system and we need to have a service composition because ultimately all are uh, going to provide a common service so this explicit synchronization is very much required to handle uh, these different component of a system uh, while handling all these different component uh, uh, concurrently in sending or say receiving or uh, say use of some shared communication resources and the communication for example two peers would like to send uh, to each other at the same time so at that point of time you need the explicit synchronization between sender and receiver there are several ways uh, to support this uh, explicit synchronization of sender and receiver uh, such as uh, say controlling the communication channel so by controlling the communication channel you can synchronize the sender and receiver the way uh when you are trying to send something and uh, this network protocol basically synchronizes uh, the sender and receiver before it uh, can start sending the data now when you have a perfect coordinated system the system um, uh, probably will not need the explicit communication to achieve a common goal because they synchronize themselves and they align their activity based on some good model and which is basically called the mutual modeling but the main limitation of uh, say this mutual modeling approach uh, is that the computation needed to define how other dynamic system act is very complex to define and maintain and there may not be enough uh, system resource to uh, serve such as the uh, the processing uh, computation power and uh, there it is very difficult to uh, synchronize between or say coordinate between these different types of uh, system 
Now, interaction protocol with uh, inbuilt coordination uh, mechanism uh, can be joint planning and uh, joint intentions. Now, there are several designs uh, for uh, the coordination of uh, multiple cooperative systems. Uh, various service composition model uh, can be used and uh, coordination may be based upon uh, interaction protocol with uh, inbuilt uh, coordination mechanism that we have seen. There may be a joint planning and um, joint intentions or implicit coordinations, norms in uh, electronic institutions. So that there are many ways. So the joint intention uh, can be used to recognize and establish coordination between agents acting in dynamic environment. So joint intention is say you have two different component in the same environment and uh, the intention of the goal which is to be achieved by these two different component of a system is common which is you which is a joint intention and many a times it it happens there are two components which plans together to achieve a common goal so there are different ways of uh, coordination while working with uh, uh, intelligent system but while say when we are working with uh, uh, the technique of uh, the normative behaviors or uh, the norms of uh, norms or electronic institutions so coordination using norms and electronic institution uh, the behavior should be that it can be differentiated from the actual behavior and uh, behavior is actually uh, say coordinated using the different norms which are set in the systems so if the system is designed to support the norm then it should be very clearly stated in the systems about the actual behavior or the legal or illegal aspects of uh, the systems and institution and civil societies also have lots of norms defined and uh, the constant depending on uh, the individual individual behavior so probably may be affecting socially uh, uh, when the decision has been taken so there are two main ways to maintain these different types of social norms uh, either uh, say mutual reward or uh, community uh, retribution can be used and these normative systems basically are designed and modeled in uh, several ways uh, so like the systems which is based on norms are probably based on some sort of service level agreement which is called SLA so when two systems are say trying to coordinate with each other probably it will use uh, the agreement defined between these two component which is called a service level agreement so this jointly worked out and uh, based on that the decision has been taken and the system probably coordinates in between using this SLA.